How's it going guys? So in this video, I want to make it really short and quick. Um, I want to show you guys how to save um, a stripped screw hole on your guitar. This works for both electric and acoustic uh, guitars. Uh, the example I have here is a, uh, it's a Squire um, vintage vibe 50th guitar, electric guitar. Um, I bought this guitar online and uh, um, it came with every single tuner screw hole stripped. Basically, when I was trying to tighten the tuner, the screw just keeps turning when I try to turn it and try to tighten it. It just doesn't work. Um, and it's it's happening on every single screw. So um, I found a, like a great way to actually fill those holes uh, with any kind of like, um, if you have a, a toothpick, um, you could use toothpick. And this one is actually just a kebab stick uh, that we use for grilling. This is made of bamboo. Um, all I did is using a utility knife and I have the bamboo stick. Um, all I did is cut a little pointy shape like this. And then just plug this into the hole right here. So if, if you see over here, I already plugged those two holes. Uh, they're ready to be screwed again. And it works fantastic. And this is like the cheapest, easiest, free way of fixing a stripped screw hole. Um, and again, I'm just gonna show you guys like on the camera how easy it is. You basically just try to make a pointy shape. And of course, your knife have to be uh, uh, fairly sharpened, so it's it's nice and easy to cut, and it cuts fairly precise. But that's that's pretty much how you do it. And if you see, it's kind of getting pointy. I could get it a little more pointy. And depending on the size of the screw or the length of the screw, uh, if the screw is about this long, I'm only gonna take probably from where the thread is starting. So, and again, I'm just gonna use my knife again, be careful. Uh, your knife is really sharp, so you want to do this very carefully. I basically, oops, right here. I basically just try to do this, and it actually comes off. And when it comes off, again, I've already made a whole bunch, I just simply plug this into the hole with the pointy side facing downwards. And once it's plugged, okay, once it's plugged, it's ready to, you, you're ready to have your tuner to be installed and back on here again. And the reason I didn't install every tuner because everything is stripped, uh, I want to show you guys how easy this step is and hopefully save you some time um, if you have a stripped screw hole on your acoustic guitar or on your electric guitar. It's really extremely simple and easy to fix. Just have some toothpick, cut it into this kind of pointy shape and shove it in there and your screw should go in just, you know, very nicely and it should lock as well. Okay, so I'm not gonna lock that one. So I'm just gonna, again, show you guys how easy it is. I'm gonna use this hole, since this hole is closest to the camera. Let me see if I can zoom in. All right, let's try to do this on the camera. And again, I already filled that hole with a toothpick right here. Um, and I'm just going to screw this original screw for the tuner in there. Apply just a little bit of pressure and it will actually bite onto the thread of the toothpick. And once it's, it's bite, it's very nice and easy to screw it in. I'm not gonna tighten it because I have two more to go. And I'm gonna do the other two, same thing. You just find where you stuffed that toothpick and just press down a little bit pressure and then just start turning and it will automatically bite onto that you know that toothpick so now i have just one last one to install and again the reason i discovered it is my string would lose its tuning every single day and it's because that screw is not uh, it's stripped every screw is stripped i don't know why Maybe some kids like over tighten it and the parents are trying to, to sell it. Um, but every screw is over tightened and stripped. So I had to discover it the hard way and lost some strings. And now I finally found the cause, which is stripped 
screw, which is like a super, super easy fix, okay? So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna align it and then have a nice bite and then it would actually go in and it would actually lock. Pretty amazing. So now I can just tighten everything at the same time and make sure the nice and line up. Beautiful. Okay. Almost done. And it actually locks. It locks really nice and tight um, over the all those holes. Locks really nice and tight. Okay. There we go. So now it actually stays in place. And again, don't over tighten. It actually is very stable and it stays in place very nicely. Okay, so uh, if I look at the back, let's see over here. All right, so nothing should be moving around. Okay, and before when it was loosened, it was loose. Um, it's just what was really, really bad. Now everything stays in place. And that's pretty much how you fix a stripped screw hole uh, with just some toothpick or maybe a kebab stick and a utility knife. You cut the shape, stuck it in there. Depending on the size of the screw and the length of the screw, just do your adjustment. Um, it, it, it's highly unlikely that you're going to screw it up. Okay, very easy to do. Applies to all kinds of wood screws. So if this one is stripped, it's easy. Just find and cut a shape. Put it in there and re screw it back in, and you should be good to go. So, hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. Uh, hopefully, I'll have more tips coming out for you guys. Thanks again, and see you in the next video. Take care.